goodness with face, Pat, and Tiz. And uh, now uh, Congress is like, hey, y'all know there's aliens and stuff. We want to know everything about the aliens. So the government in the past couple of weeks, actually the past couple of years, is just basically saying, hey, man, um, you know how we've been saying UFOs are, you know, fake? They real. <laughs> they real. And um, when we did the live, the face had put up the uh, video about it. It was that 60 minutes video about the two pilots that saw this spacecraft doing mm. amazing shit that our technologies are it, just years behind before they can even reach some type of like maneuverability like that or whatever. So yeah, that, that got me into into YouTube and I just went on a video oh, rage. You know, I'm rabbit hole discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so we went from there. So on this topic, we're gonna to be talking about aliens, are they real? UFOs, um, UAPs, the Pentagon, what they gotta do with Area 51, universes, other universes, if we get to that point, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but I'm gonna start it off by saying, yes, people, aliens are real. Yeah, they might not, they they might not be what you think they are. They might just be some bacteria that's okay. on a rock okay. that's flying, okay. Okay. flying around in the air. We're talking yeah. now, now we're getting back into my realm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They they you know, not necessarily, but <clears throat> that I would say that would be the first encounter of maybe alien life that we have. But it's insane. And it is basically human arrogance and illogical to know that the universe is as infinitely immense as it is. And just out of, out of all this space, this one little speck of dust has life on it. No That's other real. place. Like, so you mean to tell me that with all this infinite amount of space, the same factors and components that created the solar system, that created the atmosphere and the environment that allowed life to come to be, it didn't happen no other way else in the universe. Right. <clears throat> no. And plus, it was, two... it, it, it was a, a one of a kind, unique experience right here out of all of the billions and billions and trillions of possibilities out there. <laughs> Yeah, it, newsflash people, for the past couple of years, they have found 700 super Earths mm. in nearby galaxies. The, the same Nigga, did you say Florida. super Earths? Super yes. Earths. Super Earths. So that's like Earth, Earth on, like planet. on uh, Captain America <laughs> juice. Like, how I put it this way it's a bigger Earth. It's It's a bigger planet <laughs> with it's a, it's a plants like Earth. and water, <laughs> like maybe two Earths combined. Like, like imagine. Honestly, Hold on. I don't want to linger on that for a second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, <just, laughs> let me put it like this. It's that nigga Earth. said it's a bigger Earth. No shit, Sherlock. It's a super Earth. It's yeah, I was with you there. Because, I'm trying to figure out the scale. This nigga said, "Yeah, it's a bigger." Earth. Yep, got I it. mean, there's like multiple versions of them. I mean, let's like, like there's like no. I'm just trying to allude to this uh, way you tried to just shade me on my question. Like, nigga, it's a bigger. Earth. That ain't mean to shade you, dog. But it's like I just went. On I'm just like, fucking with you, bro, bro. It's a way. Nigga. <laughs> okay, if y'all didn't know, Tiz is saucy again. I'm gonna just leave it there and we're gonna just keep it moving. All right, like, but the shit was funny to me because that nigga hit me with the quick. Yeah, it's a, it's a bigger earth. Like, nigga, yeah. I know that. Try to play me like I'm stupid. Nah, I ain't trying to do it. <laughs> I just. No, oh, um, I apologize. Nigga, so that shit is funny to me, nigga. I, no, it's funny <clears throat> to me. Nigga, do you hear me laughing? 
<laughs> Orgasm is my second language, and it just kicks in from time to time, and I have no control. That shit is hilarious. That <laughs> is, it's a bigger. <laughs> yep. Seven. But yeah, there's like, like seven hundred. Do you know what super means? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, as an extra, more than, but above yeah. the normal amount. But I brought I brought that up because when they look into these telescopes or whatever, they're looking at these planets like <laughs> like this thing is still weak. <laughs> but they look at these planets like they're like light years, like light years away and everything. So when uh -huh. they're looking at the planet, it's like they're looking at the planet from the past or whatever. Absolutely. So by the time they actually get there or whatever, they by the time we actually would get to that planet, they may have already developed life, a civilization, you know what I'm saying, and all that stuff or whatever. Quick question. But, Before <laughs> we go any further into that part of the conversation about these super earths, mm -hmm. the closest Earth. super earths that you've heard of, how many light years away is it? Uh, let's look this up here. Super that, that that's gonna tell you how likely it is to have life. Like if they can see shit on that super earth in some way, <clears throat> I would think that you could tell if something's going on on that planet if it's within hundreds of years. Cause you gotta think about how long it took life on this earth to kind of <laughs> manifest in a way we know it. Like if it's bacteria, we might not know. But if it's something that's big enough to manifest like animals and shit, like I would think we would be able to see their spectrum or something that they're doing on that planet, similar to what's they, going on our planet. I would say they usually, it, it at least has like, um, they at least have plant life, water and plant life, pretty much. They say the, the, I didn't the know they closest, got huh? How they know they got plant life? Well, they have these, like, you know, the satellites and um, that's just flying around in space and with these tele and they, these telescopes or whatever. And pretty much majority of that stuff comes from the satellites that just venture off into space. Like, they just had one that, um, damn, what's the name of that one? But it just left out of the solar mm -hmm. system. Or whatever. So we got like, telescopes that can see plant life on other super earths. Yeah, they know. Mm -hmm. So why are we arguing about whether there's life on other planets? Because, and I was going to. No, no, that no, up. no. I want you to think about what you just said. Mm -hmm. I'm going to repeat my question. I want you to repeat the exact same answer. Oh, you gave me. plant life is life. So <laughs> okay, okay, you okay? I ain't even got to go through the rigmarole. Then you with me? Yeah. What? When did they when did they find plant life? I thought that was the thing. They hadn't found any form of life. They just found places where like the conditions say that <laughs> life could possibly happen. I you put, telling me there's super herbs out there with with a bush, or even you if you're talking about plant life to the low level, like algae and moss and shit. Mm -hmm. You still telling me that it's probably you you damn sure got bacteria there. Mm -hmm. And for the most part, you probably gonna have some form of a creature. Mm -hmm. but, but that's with huge, most... nigga. What the fuck? You saying that shit like that shit casual? I ain't know that shit. I ain't never found no plant life on no damn super earth. I know they it found super been... earths, but I thought they it's was not... like you know the the conditions would be good for life. Mm -hmm. it, you know, if it was there, I ain't know they they done, they done seen a, a seven... tree, nigga. What the fuck? <clears throat> this shit is crazy. They found 700 livable planets. And then in order for the planet to no, be see, livable... No, see, no, 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 Go back. Mm -hmm. You changing what you said. Mm -hmm. You said on a super Earth, a telescope has seen plant life. That, now, well, that's why I was no, leading to. Now you're saying that they found 700, however many super Earths. That, I mean, not super Earths. You, they found livable planets. Those are two way different things. Oh. It can be livable with no <laughs> life on it. You telling me somebody seen a plant or they have found plant life on a, on another planet. That is 
Nigga, that's the biggest fucking scientific news in our generation. It's ain't it's, shit um, been bigger than that. That's like when they first figured order, out that the world was round. In order for you to have a planet that's livable, you gotta have plant life and like no. when they call it livable. No, you gotta have let plant you don't life have to have water. plant life to be livable. You have to have water mm -hmm. and certain elements, <clears throat> and especially but, certain elements in their when they, images when in they, the atmosphere, which you when they're talking about at a livable, certain temperature. They, what you don't have to have is plant life because before <laughs> we had plant life on this earth, <clears throat> we had bacteria that had not manifested to the level of plant life. You got to think, plant life and animal life are two of the highest forms of life. Yeah. Well, you're I'm not, not going to get I'm, plant life like that, bro. Just because you got living when, conditions. That, those are not two, those, those two things are not about, mutually inclusive. When they're usually talking about livable, when the scientists or whatever, when they're talking about livable conditions or whatever, they're talking about if we were to somehow put a human on this planet, would they be able to live on it? That's when it. Well, that's what I'm talking about. What if I'm saying were, is, you don't need plants for that because there's certain mm -hmm. type of there's a certain type of algae. Mm -hmm. If you have water, there's a certain type of algae that is not a plant that can make enough oxygen to sustain humans. But when you're talking about life, that is not necessarily indicative of humans. There are certain forms of life that don't need oxygen like we need it at all, like a tardigrade. So when you're talking about life on another planet, being livable as a planet and being having plant life is two okay. different ballparks. So I want to make sure that when we're putting this out Let, here to the public and you're saying this with such a matter of fact tone that I'm understanding 100% correctly what you're saying. You're telling right, me so, telescopes and satellites have went out there and found plant life, living plant life that's alive, that's guaranteed plant life on another planet of some kind, somewhere. Yes, there. What? Nigga! It's, oh my it's, God! It's careful. Ah! It's aliens! Oh, we gonna have Independence Day! Oh, nigga, get your signs ready. This shit is I'm amazing. To tell them, nigga, this is not all some normal shit. You it's are not, saying this shit regular as fuck, nigga. Nigga, you telling me it's trees on another planet, nigga? Yeah. Ah! It's a dogwood out there on D thirty two. The planet in the third galaxy from the fifth star of XL37 in this nigga. <clears throat> that is it a says, bro. You don't understand what you are reporting. The, so the where Kepler, are you reading I, this at? I need this article the Kepler in my satellite. life. I need this I mean, video. What did you read? Look, and so you plants. can look at this online, but this is like stuff I'd be like looking on. No, no, nigga. No, nigga. You ain't gonna put this bombshell out there in my universe like this. If you and calm then down, I have no sources. You ain't gonna umar me, nigga. You ain't about to umar me, nigga. It's Where is your to... work cited? Dog, you can all of this, you can look this up online. Like this, this is from actual scientists yeah. on science lab. Uh, like I can. They, I can look at Neil deGrasse Tyson talk about this. No, I ain't um, looking I, nobody talk about shit. I'm about to Google the fuck out this shit. God yeah, damn. because this nigga like, said plant life is on other planets, nigga. We yo, we about to get they, busy, nigga. It says there's at least like five e. What's good, billion bro? planets in the Milky Way, and at least five millions are uh, habitable zones, as they call it, or whatever, and. Like, yeah, you still ain't said the same thing that you said with the with the plants, but I'm about to find it. <laughs> this, you need to go to find it. All right, so I'm I'm leading I'm leading on to a different uh, <laughs> to it because this because I wanted to get back to like uh, why I got uh, you uh, uh, or whatever. NASA predicts. Predict. I want us to understand what a prediction is. That is a hypothesis. That is, I don't know 
but what I believe due to observations tells me that this is what I think is going to happen. That doesn't mean that we found evidence yet. This is means this is the setup for the experiment, not the conclusion. So I'm going to start with the headline then. NASA predicts non-green plants on other planets. NASA scientists believe they have found a way to predict the color of plants on planets in other solar systems green, yellow, or even red dominant plants may live, may live on extrasolar planets, according to scientists, whose two scientific papers appear in the March issue of the journal Astrobiology. Now, this is way back in 2007. This is the most recent thing that I'm seeing on plants on another plant. Um, uh, scientists studied light absorbed and reflected by organisms on Earth determined that if astronomers were to look at the light given off by planets circling distant stars, they might predict that some planets have mostly non-green planets. So what I'm reading here, and it goes on to show the study that they did, but I'm still not seeing where they found conclusive evidence of. So what you're saying is, because of the livable conditions of other planets and because of the fact that certain plants give off light, there may be plant life on other planets. Because I want you to understand how different that is as far as a scientific report. Like, this ain't like where we think allegedly Nicki Minaj did this on Thursday. No, nigga, this is like everything we've known about science just flipped on his head and every alien movie we knew is truly possible. Like, not possible, like, hopeful possible, but like, nigga, that shit might be probable. Shit, nigga, it's trees out there, nigga. This, the nigga that run the pawn shop might really have a fucking little head in there. You shoot off the first one, that other one might pop the fuck out. That nigga be squeaking at, like, that shit, nigga, nigga you know what you're saying? I yeah. want us to get this. I want us to get this nailed down, because you know the nerd in me. Now you got me geeking out because I'm I'm getting excited. I I so they spell say this they out. Say, spell uh, this out like I'm like I'm like I'm my son. Like I'm a first grader. I need this spelled out in clearest terms. Is what you saying about these plants on these other planets? Because I don't see this, but if you saying it, I'm a roll with you because you my bro. But don't have me looking dumb out here and I'm sitting here riding for aliens and nigga, you talk about some shit that's some still possible. Because I already know it's possible. <laughs> Man, so you don't you let give me, me this, bro. Like, God, let me I'm shut trying, up. I'm sorry. It's the sauce. I'm, I'm trying to say I'm trying to say that within that time, you within this past couple of years or whatever, they have found more, more sightings of more different planets and you know what? I, I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna put this on my next mission of all the other the, the different planets can have because they have the Kepler Space Telescope and uh, <laughs> they have uh, other other satellites out there that just that's out there just tra traveling in the um outside of the solar system. Podness, original Pod Squad members, I want y'all to hold pat to this because this shit getting like the Charles Barkley uh, post-it note wall where it'd be all his predictions that was like, nigga, what? You, that shit ain't go right. Now, all right. Y'all remember the last so, one? No, hold, hold up. No, you ain't gonna cut me off on this one. Y'all remember the last prediction? The last thing that Pat said, he was gonna go out and research. That I researched, but he never did was that he said that your scalp moves backwards <laughs> when you got dreadlocks. <laughs> we, survey says, that was a lie. <laughs> now, he is now telling us that NASA has not said that it might be, but they have now confirmed plant life on another planet, and he's gonna go out here and find us that evidence of what he's. So that's the second one. I just want us to keep a running tally, cause you be putting your neck out here on some wild claims, boy. The scout move was the. I thought you was done after that, but this would take the cake, brother. Plant life confirmed. 
I'm going to find it. I'm going yes, to find it. Yes, sir. Respect. I'm going to find it. Respect, King. <clears throat> I'm going to find I, it. I'm going to roll with you. I'm going to roll with you, bro. I, hey. And I, and this I how I feel believe. like I have. I want to believe. This is how I feel like I, I can probably find it. If not find it or find something close to it. that They, I, they have said they have found us, the 700 planets or whatever. I know so, that. I know that part. Um, to we talk about plant that, life. We, we sp- I'm specifically stuck on this plant life part because that is life changing. That is mind boggling <coughs> scientific news that just slid the fuck under that. And I watched Neil deGrasse Tyson's podcast. He ain't said shit about it. Like, nigga, what? Yeah, we don't everybody know about. But the, the main thing I would brought brought up is that is the Pentagon has just like release this <laughs> declassified um, like visuals of all these um, UFOs or UAPs, the unified aerial phenomenon that's going now around and stuff like them. that. I believe in them. Mm-hmm. Whatever. So there, there are three decisions, that there are three, not decisions, but there are three things they say it might be is it's either top secret US technology or whatever that they don't know about. Right. Um, it's either another country's technology or whatever, or something extraterrestrial or whatever. And from what I saw in the video or whatever, they were telling me that it was doing moves that it just, I would say it was doing an L move or whatever, and it was moving at different rates. And they had a whole, um, I see why Trump probably said we need a Space Force, because he probably saw this, <laughs> these videos or whatever. And they are, and they actually got a whole uh, actual, um, I think they might have disbanded it, but it was a um, an actual government um, agency called an Advanced Aerospace Threat. Identification program. Man, you're about to be the nigga showing up. <laughs> what is Space Force. But yeah, it's like a tip, but they were just specializing in, in like finding these aerial, like the all these UFOs or whatever that's out there. And then when these videos, they say they're always out there, like every single time. They had one, um, and this was on 60 Minutes. They said they had one pilot that every time he went out there, Every day for the past like year, he would spot one of them in the when they're flying out in the sea. Oh, shit. pretty much. So, and it said, uh, what was it? The leader what was it? Was... Hmm? Yeah. I, was I, just got what y'all I got two. two. I, I, I think it can be out of one or two things. You know, I believe in extraterrestrial, so that's always a possibility. But I also believe in other government agencies' technology. Now, if you, now if you look at pre-Cold War with the Soviets and the Nazis and the, the scientific um, revolutions they were making over there and the, the weapons of mass destruction they were making over there before we brought some of them over here and they assimilated into our, into our country. They had a uh, lot of okay. bad stuff. You know? So who's to say? What they developed from that? Exactly. Yeah. Who's to say they didn't continue and advance based on today's technology on that and get it up and running times 10? That's I've never that. heard that argument. I don't know why, and that might be a popular argument out there, but I've never heard that one, like, of the it's old school Cold War shit that just never made it over <clears> here <throat> when we started co-opting the scientists from overseas. Okay. That's that's yeah okay. That would probably be between that and maybe a hostile, hostile uh, government or uh, some type of organization with the money to actually fund some technology like that. But gotcha. of course, yeah, how would yeah, we know yeah. about a a, a, a a organization? That's I don't say anything is possible, but I think the most likely logical explanation for a lot of them, like I can't say it explains all of them, because you know any like 
drone technology if, or something. If we shit. don't know, we don't know. But I'll say a lot of it, I think, is just technology from either our country or other countries that just people ain't figured out yet or that we don't realize is actually available. So to us, it looked crazy, but to the people that's actually controlling it, they're like, oh, this is just, you know, model XL37, test, test three, you know. I'm going to put it to you like and, it, and, and it happens to get caught by somebody as they walk right, walking along. I don't think they mean for it to get caught. I think that shit happens. And then they like, the UFO phenomenon gives it a cover without the, the government agency that's behind it having to do anything. I believe in UFOs, Bigfoots, all that. And I put it to you like this. Bigfoots. Big oh, you, you, say, you say you crazy. All right. I believe in those cryptids. Why? Because a couple of decades ago, kangaroos were considered to be a cryptid. Mm. They're not anymore, are they? True. And it's I, still I can, like, I can follow your logic there. It's still animals where we haven't discovered yet. That's like I think that's why I'll just continue to say I don't know. Mm-hmm. And shit, we haven't discovered yet. We haven't we haven't triumphed every inch and every square inch of this planet yet. So you can't say, oh no, this don't exist. How you know? Oh, you think we discovered it as a man been on this planet all this time? Yeah. Yeah, but I you, tell you, you what, I tell you what, niggas. If we the first podcast that be talking about goddamn plant life on other planets and that shit, nigga, do you know how big this shit about to be? Mm. No, 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 no. Like y'all playing around about that shit. Like y'all, he, he, ha, ha. Mm. Nigga. Like, I want you to think about everything you was taught in your textbook. And I want you to think about how much of that, that, that one finding shatters. Like the conversation we have about UFOs changes <clears throat> if that's confirmed. Do you realize that? It's no longer UFOs. It's, it's more like, well, which planet did these niggas come from? The L, the ones that are doing the L as opposed to the ones that got the seven lights on the side, as opposed to the ones that got the three running lights <clears throat> in red and they beaming niggas up. Like, who, 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 who's sitting who? Or is it, just, it's a different conversation. Oh my nigga, do you know what that means? I'm so hyped. Oh my hyper. god, bro. Y'all, y'all this call thing, me what this... you want to call me out here. YouTube yeah. land, but the geek in me just got so fucking revved up. Nigga, I'm about to be down a rabbit hole this week. Like we're gonna find out. <laughs>